Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we, we move on to the last of the preliminary bouts this afternoon. Please welcome to the ring first, Jared Richards. And his opponent in this contest, please welcome to the ring, Archie Marlowe. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout is a super lightweight end class with elbows bout. Once again, I'm fighting out of PCT gym by way of Bristol. He has a record of zero wins with two losses and weighs in at 63.6 kilos. Jared Richards! His opponent across the ring, fighting out of Minotaur gym by way of Hemel Hempstead. He has a record of five wins and two losses and weighs in at 63.1 kilograms. Archie Marlowe! Great to see a fighter seal in the ring. Absolutely, yeah, just uh, sticking to the tradition there. This will be the last fight of the first part of the card. So to those uh, possibly new to Muay Thai may not have seen this before, seal in the ring is a, sort of a symbolic, spiritual ritual to start a fight to sort of seal the ring for the fighters, remove any bad spirits, which you can see he's doing with his feet there and just to really secure the ring ready for this contest. So you train with Archie, what can you tell us about him? Very, very strong. I think from the off, he is just gonna, gonna get stuck in straight away. Quite a nice high guard, loves the elbows, loves the knees, which is uh, gonna work well for him with the elbow pads, I hope. Um, obviously being a bit biased towards this fight, Archie has taken this fight on two weeks' notice as well, which is absolutely awesome just to uh, keep the keep the card going. Tell you what, I do love Archie's mentality. Yeah. He was very intense there in the stare-off, very, yes, very yes. Uh, commanding the ring there. Good long guard from Archie there, walking his man down. Lovely uh, popping jab there from the yellow corner. Just establishing a range with the uh, jab and low kick. And it was good is uh, seeing Jared listen to his corner. 
Yes. His corner's very much telling him to use the range, jab, keep. Gerard staying nice and composed. Archie straight off the bat with the elbows in the first rounds. Uh, maybe a little bit of the inexperience from the, from the ref there, or maybe him just wanting to keep the fight going, but Jared was holding the ropes. Big knees going in there from uh, Archie. Nice little front elbow there. Jara trying to keep his man there in the corner. Now what's interesting is, uh, as you see, Archie's right elbow is exposed. Oh yes. And the ref hasn't done anything about that. So if an elbow does come from, yeah, that elbow there is going to hurt a substantial amount more. Big knees going in there from uh, Archie. Wow, an exciting first rounds. <laughs> Ref just been told there about Archie's uh, elbow pad slipping down. Unfortunately, this <laughs> happens a lot with the uh, with the N-class fights with elbow pads. Yeah, it is. It's Makes the ref work a bit harder, that is, for uh, these, because an exposed elbow does offer quite a good advantage. Absolute game changer, right? Because just for those who uh, may not have ever fought with elbow pads, they don't really hurt that much, do they, when you get hit by one in the fight? It just feels more like a short punch. That's it, yeah. But then without an elbow, that's, what, that's where it hurts. <laughs> yeah, you can get some very early nights with a uh, Stops with cuts. A little bit of bruising on the uh, right eye of Jared there. The second round is underway. Beautiful knee from Archie. Beautiful kick return. Archie just looking very composed. Yeah. He's fainting, he's kicking well, he's kneeing well. I think Jared needs to uh, box a little bit more if he wants to try and keep the barrage of knees and elbows off him. Yeah, I'd completely agree there. He's, uh, he's, he's having some success with his hands. Yeah. They are, they are sneaking through his guard there, especially them straight punches. Lovely uh, fake Ooh. walking knee there for Archie. A lean back in the teeth. See, this is where a bit of ring craft comes in now. Jared should be taking well advantage of that. Yeah, that was a waste opportunity there for Jared. He should have took advantage of that and then really teed off in that corner. Slight bit of uh, blood from Archie's nose. Beautiful knee. There we are. It is an annoying job now with being a ref for class to these elbows. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> the uh, PCT gym asking for their uh, asking for their fire just to put the pressure on a little bit. I think he needs to. I think he's definitely down now. Does he can't be giving Archie too much space? That's where Archie wants to work with the long knees, the elbows. Beautiful jab there from Jared. I think I think you are right. You need to start using his hands. Lovely time teep there from Jared. Big knee. Big elbow. Oh. Fantastic rounds. Lovely fight.
quarterfinals into the ring by welcoming into the black corner from the Kelsey Pride team in Wales, it's Lewis Pooh. I'm Lewis Pooh, I for the Celtic Pride Martial Arts. Two very uh, different corner strategies going on here. We've got PZT giving a very intense corner, maybe trying to uh, buy the fire up a bit to come out and try and knock his opponent out. And then you've got uh, the Manitou corner, very, very calm, very, very commanding, but calm. Is that is that a usual corner strategy from Manitou? Do you know what? Lewis will be different with each, each of the fighters. Um, for Archie in particular, Archie does a very good job of getting himself fired up. Um, so I think, in my opinion, I would say Archie cemented two rounds quite clearly. So I think Lewis is just going to be telling him, keep doing what you're doing, keep the long knees. Um, a few of those winging shots there from Jared were, were just getting in on Archie there. Looks like Archie might be trying to go for the stoppage in this round. It's always, it's always an interesting one there for... When you're two rounds clearly up, it, it tells you a lot about the fighter if they want to just opt for an easy strategy of kicking and moving, keeping the distance, because they've won the fight. Yeah. And then you've got warriors like Archie coming in, bring, bringing the fight to uh, Jared again. Absolutely. I know Archie very well, and I know if he doesn't get a stoppage, he'll be, he'll be kicking himself. Um, it's just the way he is. He's just uh, always trying to improve on, on fights. Gerard showing real resilience here, though. He's not out of this fight. No. He's still dangerous. Oh, beautiful sweep by Archie. Jared biting down and coming forward again. There's no step backwards in him. I love that walking knee from Archie there. Yeah, it's landing every time. Cover distance, land the knee. Beautiful big knee, big knee. Oh, oh beautiful round. Lovely shot. I'd like to see I'd like to see Archie throw that again. That de that's He's got very nice hands, hasn't he? The elbows and knees are lovely, but the hands are, are, are also just seems comfortable everywhere. Yeah. Fight at the fight at the range, fight inside. Big elbows going in, big knees. What I do like about Archie, he stops and thinks, doesn't he? Yes. He's not just uh, throwing everything and hoping for the best. He was looking. He was yeah. constantly watching what's landed, what wasn't landing. You see the two coaches there embracing a big hug. Very, very good fight. For me, I could be biased, but I would say that would be fight, uh, you know, best fight of the undercard so far. Yeah, and I th yeah, d definitely. That was a gr I think... The levels of techni the technical display that was on, it was, it was... Yeah. But all in all, I think that's quite a comfortable win for Archie. Yeah, definitely. I'd like to see Jared okay, back ladies in there and gentlemen, Let's have hands. Jared and Archie to the centre of the ring, please. And let's have a huge round of applause for both of them. That was bout of the day so far. Congratulations to both of you. After three rounds of boxing, we go to the judges' scorecards and we do have a winner. Your winner is... Archie Marlow! And one more time, a round of applause for Jared Richards, ladies and gents. Archie, come and join me. Congratulations. Thank you. you absolutely smashed it. What a very technical fight that was. What is going through your head right now? Talk me through the fight. A little bit disappointed. I've been, I, I was coming here to stop someone. I didn't want it to go this far, but get a win regardless and on to the next, really, on to the next. So. Tough opponent, but you kept composed. It's, it's, it's a few weights up that I'd normally fight. So I think 
I just don't really have any power up here, but grinded the win and that's what matters. You, you did what you had to do. Obviously, you come from the Minotaur gym. Big, big crowd behind you. How was that? Yeah, it's always good. We always get a pretty loud brawler in the Minotaur and there's local shows. So I know they're all around, like, all the team. Yeah. We're a solid gym. We're getting better every year. We'll be seeing more Minotaur all, all over. Brilliant. Just before we go, is there anybody that maybe deserves a special mention that might have helped you throughout the camp? Just my coach. It's not been the best camp I've ever had. It's been a rough three months, but my coach picks me up out of everything. My coach, he picks me up from everything and we don't, we don't stop. So my, my coach, my coach, Lou, Lou is safe. Brilliant. Well, enjoy the celebrations tonight. Thank you.